welcome to web shop today we will learn how to fix there has been a critical error on this website in your wordpress it is a common error nowadays like there is a domain or subdomain uh, it's showing this in some case it cannot be so this type of error it's uh, showing php error so we have already a tutorial how to fix and handle this issue so we go with that in this tutorial we will know how to fix this issue okay so when this type of issue is came that's mean backend there is a php and some issue with the php but how do you know the which one and what is the error in your php and how to fix it so let's first we need to on debug mode in your wordpress okay so we need to log in our control panel and stun on the debug mode i hope you already know how to log in your control panel if you don't uh, know please go to the tutorial and find out how to log in your control panel it control panel can be different type of like cwp control panel and our web app sub control panel and c panel and direct admin panel and many more those are very popular control panel so we will go with the any of them so for we need to go login control panel and click on file manager okay it same all similar control panel file manager file manager and file manager so we will go with our control panel there is file manager go to the file manager and we need to find domain name there is a domain name and we already hosted uh, in our case in subdomain so we go to the public folder there is a subdomain folder and we install subdomain folder uh, with wp in your case it can be public underscore html or something so in my case we just different so now we reach to the wp folder okay let's go to the wp config.php file and right click all uh, control panel have same option and edit you can you need to scroll, scroll down go to the bottom of the page there is a define wp debug false so what is means false a, for normal user should not get any critical complication error how to how to turn on debug mode just make it true from false now save it that's all now go to the back to the page and reload the page when you reloading you will see what is the exact error now a, uh, error is come what syntax error unexpected aas and uh, it's called home infomedia domain infomedia public data set wp content theme and the index.php so we have error line number 3 if you are not developer if you do not understand what the exact error you can, you need to understand where you, error is come like in my case it's come from theme okay so easy solution log in to wp wordpress admin panel okay so in my case i will log in to my wordpress panel wp admin in my case i already logged in so i just go to the appearance and theme section and where is the error error come with this theme right so we need to find out this theme this is activated so we need to just activate another default wordpress theme or any another theme that you have just activating this theme and let's check the website issue is fixed but in your case in your case it can be come from plugin 
it can be come from any other folder also you may not able to access this dashboard so what need to do we need to go uh, let's activate first the same is for same issue now issues came so another type of alternate solution is you need to go to the file manager again i already file manager and go to the content as per my case it's content but in your case it can be possible another any php folder and file you need to find out from here right so i go to the wp uh, content in my case and it's my case in themes and this is the theme so i need to rename it to x or something other so it's not call okay let's try it there is a theme directory does not exist right so that issue is resolved but now it's another come issue came that theme does not exist so we need to go again the theme folder rename to this and rename any other theme to make same theme so in my case it's done just re reload then now you can also log in the admin panel and do your job if you have if you have developer or if you have knowledge of wordpress you can fix easily this code by uh, opening that page in my case it was index.php and for testing purpose i just put it here some okay okay it's not theme this backup theme so go to the index page and we, I just put it just randomly two lines to make error. So I can remove and save to fix it. But in your case, you need to find what is the issue. For more help, you can call our support team for more help. Okay. So in this tutorial, it's end. We will make upcoming tutorial to help you to grow with us. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.